Installing the Brondell Swash Electric Bidet Toilet Seat is easy. Just follow these instructions. Remove your existing toilet seat and thoroughly clean your toilet. Turn off the water supply at the shutoff valve at the wall to stop the flow of water. Flush your toilet and hold down the flush handle until the water is fully drained. Unscrew the flexible water supply line from your fill valve at the toilet. It is important to unscrew the hose from the toilet, not the shutoff valve at the wall. You may want a small bucket or towel handy to catch any residual water. Insert the provided black rubber washer into the provided T-valve making sure the flat side of the washer is against the valve and the raised washer lip is face up. Connect the T-valve to the fill valve under the toilet tank. Reconnect the flexible supply line to the bottom of the T-valve. Attach the bidet hose to the open side of the T-valve. To mount the bidet seat, place the mounting plate on the toilet over the bolt hole openings. Place the adjustable brackets in the plate over the holes and slide the bolts through the holes in the toilet. Secure the bolts with the provided washers and nuts. Place the swash flat onto the toilet in front of the mounting plate. Slide the swash toward the tank onto the mounting plate until you hear a click. If you need to adjust the position of the seat, simply loosen the nuts under the toilet and slide the seat forward or backwards for the best fit, and re-tighten the bolts. Connect the open end of the bidet hose to the water inlet on the side of the swash seat. Turn on the water supply and check for leaks. If there are none, plug the swash into the nearest GFI outlet. Lastly, insert the batteries into the swash remote control. To test the bidet seat, sit down on the swash or use your hand or wet paper towel to activate the sensor. Using the remote control, press either the front or rear wash button to start the flow of water. Please be careful, as the water will spray out of the toilet bowl. Testing the warm air dryer on the Swash 1000 can be accomplished by pressing the dry button on the remote control. Congratulations, your swash installation is complete. Please refer to the owner's manual for instructions on how to properly operate and maintain your swash.